Hey church, I hope that you're all well and I hope that you're having an amazing day. It's my privilege today to be um, sharing the devotion with you. Um, and so today's devotion is from John 6 verse 1 to 14. It's quite a long passage, so I'm not going to read it because it would take up the whole devotion. But I would encourage you to, uh, encourage you to read it at some point during the day. Um, it's the account of when Jesus performed the miracle of feeding the 5,000. And what I'm going to do in to de today's devotion is I'm going to pick out a few verses and just share a few thoughts with you about those verses. And it's some things that have really, really encouraged me over the last few weeks. Um, verse 5 says, Jesus soon saw a huge crowd of people coming to look for him. Turning to Philip, he asked, where can we buy bread to feed all these people? He was testing Philip for he already knew what he was going to do. Jesus wanted to make Philip part of the miracle. And it, that's really challenged me. It's got me thinking, what, what is um, Jesus asking me to do today to be part of my miracle? What, what have I got in my hand to, to, be, to play my part in the miracle that, that Jesus wants to do in, in my life? Um, when I think back of the times when um, God has done miracles in my life, it usually has involved me playing some part. Um, once it was um, changing the way that I prayed, I started to thank God. Instead of bringing my list of to-dos, God, I want you to do this, I want you to do this. At my, my whole time with God was just spent just thanking him, thanking him for what he'd done, thanking him for who he was, thanking him for what he'd given me. And um, another time as well was um, another one of my miracles involved me letting go of something and trusting God. Instead of me trying to fix it, instead of me trying to sort it out, instead of me trying to say things that would fix it, God wanted me to close my mouth, not say anything, and let go and totally trust him. Um, so I really want to encourage you, what, what is God asking you to do today? What, what is, have you got in your hand that can, so you can be involved in the miracle that Jesus wants to do in your life? Verse eight, this is another verse that has really um, spoke to me. It says, then Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, spoke up. There is a young boy here with five barley loaves and two fish. But what good is that with this huge crowd? So the disciples, they found what they had or they found what a young boy in the crowd had. And the fact that this young boy was willing to share his packed lunch, I think is a miracle. I don't think my kids would want to share their packed lunch with everybody. But um, this little boy was willing to share his packed lunch so the disciples give what they found. They gave what they had to Jesus, even though it does say, they, they say what good is this small amount with such a huge crowd? That they, they couldn't see how such a small amount of food would help in any way. But Jesus worked with what they brought him. Wow, that's, that's amazing to me. Jesus can work with whatever we bring him. Whatever we offer him, no matter how small it is, you might feel that what you're bringing to him is really small, really insignificant, and he can't do anything. But God can work with that. When, when I changed the way I prayed, it, it really did feel like a really small and a really, really insignificant thing. But what me thanking God did was it totally, totally changed my focus. It took my focus off the problem and put it onto Jesus. I started to look to Jesus and not look to my problem and my issue. Um, and Jesus became bigger in my mind than the problem. And that then made a way for God to do the miracle. So even if what you bring feels really small and really insignificant, Jesus can use it. And he can use it to bring in the miracle into your life. That's so amazing to me. Um, the next verse that I want to share with you is verse, verses 11 and 12. And it says, Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks to God and distributed them to the people. Afterward, he did the same with the fish and they all ate as much as they wanted. After everyone was full, 
Jesus told his disciples, now gather the leftovers so that nothing is wasted. So by doing what we can and giving what we have to God, it makes way for God to do a miracle. The bread and fish never looked like a lot. It always just looked like a small amount, but it didn't run out. It, it kept going. It kept going. It, it, it didn't run out. It fed everyone. It didn't just feed everyone so they'd, they'd add a little bit. It says in the verse that everyone ate as much as they wanted. And it said, and after everyone was full. So everybody ate till they were full. It wasn't just enough. It was more than enough because it then goes on to say that there was 12 baskets left over. And, and what I really um, have got from this verse is that we may not see our miracle all at once. It may be a process. It may be something, a daily thing. And um, these verses give us real confidence that it, it's not going to run out. And as well, they give us confidence that nothing is wasted because Jesus told his disciples, gather the leftovers so that nothing is wasted. Anything that happens to us, it's never wasted. God always brings it round for good. God, God does more than we can ask or imagine. So in, these, in this um, miracle story, God provided more than enough. It, there were 12 baskets left over. And, and I don't know, but maybe the young boy who provided the packed lunch got to take one of the baskets of leftovers home for his family so that they could share the miracle as well. Even though they may not have been there, they, they could share the miracle because he may have taken a basket home. I don't know. Um, don't keep your miracle to yourself. That, that's what that encourages me. I, God, it, it's, my miracle isn't just for me. It's for me to share with other people. That, that there are leftovers that God wants me to share with others. And then their faith will grow and they, they will believe that God is going to come through in their life and bring breakthrough in their life. Um, and then, then as well, when we're sharing our miracle, it makes space for God to do more miracles in our life. So I don't know about you, church, but I really want to encourage you today. What have you got in your hand? And, and just, just um, give it to God. Give it to God and just trust that whatever you've got, no matter how small, he can make it part of the miracle that he's got for you. Right, I'll pray now and then I'll go. God, I really do thank you that, that you, you want us to be a part of the amazing miracles that, that you have got for us. And God, I really do pray that today, us, audacious church, that we give you what we have got in our hands. God, I thank you that you are going to bring breakthrough in our lives. And I thank you that we are going to see amazing miracles and we're going to hear such brilliant stories of the miracles that you do in people's lives. God, I pray that you give us all a fantastic day in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day, church. Love you. Bye.